All right, so something came up on Instagram the other day and it was an advertisement for this, the RZ mask. It caught my eye, it looked interesting. I went on Amazon, I ordered it. I wanna give it a try. I have a ton of sanding to do and I wanna see if this is any good, if it's comfortable. Some of the reviews I read on it, it was a mix. Some people really liked it, some people really disliked it. The main reason why I got this is because when I wear headphones when I'm working or ear protection or anything like that, putting a mask on and off, such as one like this, a good traditional 3M N95 mask, you have to, if I have my headphones on, to put it on, it's a bit of a pain, so you have to remove headphones and I know it's a, it's a minor thing, but still, it can be a pain. And then same with a respirator style face mask type like this, it goes on top of my head. It's not as bad, but again, I still have to remove the headphones because this piece needs to go on top and then this is up on top. Whereas this mask, let's unbox this real quick. Comes with this card, an extension strap, user manual, a holding pouch, a little clip, and then the mask itself. This tag on it, let's just get rid of this tag. Two of these particulate filters that you change out on the inside of the mask. So that's the inside of the mask like that. It's the front. It's got these vents that vent downward, which hopefully won't fog up safety glasses. That's kind of the other reason. Uh, so there's two reasons why I thought this mask was cool. Number one, it's that it goes on with one strap. So if I have my headphones on, I can put it on and off without having to remove them. like that. And also, it vents downward so that way it shouldn't fog up my safety glasses. Okay, let's give this a try and I'll give you my impressions. It's made out of neoprene, it's just kinda cheap. For what you're paying for, it's pretty expensive, but eh, I guess some R&D had to go into it. I guess I should remove this Velcro thing. All right. It fits okay, but it slides. Ah. It fits okay, but it slides off my nose here with this piece. So we'll see. We'll see what this is like. Okay, I'm gonna do some sanding. Use this for the day, and then come back and give you my impressions. Many hours later. All right, so I've used this for several hours now. And what I've noticed with this is this, this uh, flexible metal clasp up here for your nose that you tighten down so that way it keeps it from sliding off. Um, it puts a bit of pressure on the ridge of your nose. For me, it's not terrible, but I read some online reviews and people have complained about that. It doesn't bother me enough that I wouldn't use this mask. Now, the inside still looks pretty clean. Now, I'm not welding or anything with this, so I don't have a lot of dirty fumes. But uh, in terms of dust, I've been doing a ton of sanding. No, no dust inside, so that's great. 
I do like that these vents here, when you breathe out, vent downward, as I said earlier, did not fog up my glasses. So that worked really well. The filters themselves, um, these just came with, I think, the F1 filters. And then there's F2 and F3. So they have a high flow and then they have like a premium filter that's supposed to capture, I don't know, high intensity fume odors present. Anyways, this just comes with the standard filters. So would I use it? Yeah, I think I would. I do like it enough. I've been using it all day. I think it did a good job. Um, it fit well all the way around my face. And of course, everyone's face is different, so your mileage may vary. I like that it's compact and flat when it sits up against your face, just like a regular mask like this. I think that this will just work a little bit better than this. I find that a mask like this really fogs up my glasses. So I tend not to wear these as much and have to wear one like this, which is a bit more of a pain. It's a bit bulkier, especially if I do any amount of welding. When I have this on, it gets in the way. It fogs up my visor when I'm breathing out. Um, so under a welding mask, this is a bit bulky. I'll try this out. Hopefully this will work pretty good for something like that. It won't filter out uh, VOCs, so I wouldn't use it for anything like that, for, but for particulate matter, um, some dust, uh, maybe uh, light smoke, I think this will work pretty well. Anyways, that's my impressions of it. I got this on Amazon, and I think I paid about 40 Canadian dollars for it. The mask conforms to N99 filter standards, so the disadvantages really are just that it the fit depending on the shape of your face, it will put pressure on your nose ridge on this top part. Um, other than that, it's comfortable. It's easy to get on and off, which I really like. I can wear my headphones and get take it on and off. Anyways, that's my impressions of this. Hopefully that helped you make a decision either to buy it or not buy it. So thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.